What is up Lightning Squad and welcome back to Neighbor Games. I am your host Neighbor and today trainers it's going to be another shorter video for you guys today but that's absolutely fine because today we're going to be finally opening up and I mentioned this in my last video the Elestrals Artist Collection Pack. As someone who's a collector I absolutely love collecting alternate arts or artwork in general of Pokemon cards, One Piece, um, as well as like Digimon. Those are some of my favorite things to collect. I love artwork overall. It's my favorite thing about collecting TCG. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter to me. Like, you know, whenever you're looking at if it's a playable card, I mean, that that's, that's fantastic and all, but I'm a big proponent of artists and artwork for the cards and everything like that. So today I thought, you know, I've been holding onto this since the Kickstarter release. I don't wanted to keep it sealed, but also I wanna see what's inside. I, I don't know exactly what all cards are included in the Elestral's artist collection. So we're gonna take this down to the opening cam go through every one, check out the different artworks of the different Elestrals cards and see what we get. So let's go ahead and take that down. And as you can see in the back, I got, I finally got uh, a Sonicore. I traded with someone in the Elestrals community to get that Sonicore card. So I finally have one, which is super fantastic. All right. So inside of this, of course, are 25 additional game cards. These are legal to use in the game. They are all going to be different artists, um, different artist collections overall. And uh, I, want to, I want to keep this pack. Uh, so I'm gonna try really, really, really carefully to open up this pack. So give me a second here. All right, we may swap a little bit on uh, quality there. I dropped from 4K to, yeah, it kind of is a little bit better, but look at this artwork, that is great. And the artist on this one is William Boone. And it, that, that's a fantastic artwork. And I always forget how thick the Elestral's cards are until you actually get your hands on them. May have been my camera that was causing the issue. I do have a, we do have a toddler in the house, so you know how that is. This cracking uh, artwork, it is pixel art, and I love that. This one was done by Elite Four. I actually know that artist, that's fantastic. Ooh, this Tectaurus is great. Um, it is a little dark but it is a really, really cool artwork. It looks really menacing. And Tiktaurus is a great card overall. Um, this Tiktaurus gets one attack for each enchanting earth type Elestral on the field. Nice. Ooh, a Scavagem here. Oh, this artwork is so beautiful. I didn't see who the Tiktaurus was. Tiktaurus was Dragoneth. Very nice. The Scavagem here. This artwork is by M. Romo, Romo Jumbo. Nice. Oh, I love the Sakurasaur. It is so pretty. And there is a story behind this one. Apparently, the Sakurasaur didn't have the like roots running up the back of it. Uh, I know Dan told it in his video much better. But I love how the artist was able to influence uh, how the Illustral actually looked. That's fantastic. Let's go. And this one, of course, is by Dennis Berman. Oh, we love this. We're getting a little bit of an of a this is this is kind of like Sugimori artwork for Hydrake. That looks really good. I love that. And that is Daniel Mosby. Daniel Mosby is a fantastic artist. I love that. That artist is just great. I'm I'm actually gonna be working on collecting Daniel Mosby art for Elestrals. It's gonna be awesome because we've got this quackle as well. These are ones I did know about and I was very excited about. Look at that. Uh, this one is also Daniel Mosby. So that's going to go into my Daniel Mosby folder. And then we got Sluggle as well. Sluggle's great. I, I, I Quackle's probably one of my favorites as well again. But Sluggle, of course, is very cute and I absolutely love this artwork. Again, by the wonderful Daniel Mosby. And we have a Necroff also by Daniel. And Necroff is a great fire type Elestral. I love it. I love it. Trifernal's really cool too. Oh my goodness, we've got this Sprouter. Also, these are all, yeah, these are all Daniel Mosby. I love it. Can't wait to start that book up, collect all of them. Those look so good. This next art is by Lewis Brain and I love Carry On. 
Carrion's a great uh, Elestral, Wind-type Elestral. Um, I don't have very many Wind-type Elestrals that I, I, I gravitate towards, so this is this is neat. I like it very much. Tori Vaughn with this very subdued and beautiful darker Lycoris spirit, which is great for a wind deck if you're playing those to have a wind spirit. Oh, that's so beautiful. Johnny D. Oliveria with this Quackle. I love that there's Quackles in here. Quackles a, a, a fan favorite, so I get it. I get it 100%. So I, I definitely can get behind that. Let's go. We got Mustachian, which is also a fan favorite, and I think this is a fantastic artwork. This is kind of 3D rendered, and I really like that. This is done by Yasir, which is also a fantastic artist. I, I, I don't think there's a bad artist in the Illustrals group, so <laughs> let's just say. We'll see with this Fire Spirit Vipero. I love Vipero. Uh, it's not Zapter. Zapter's my favorite. But this is definitely, if you're playing a fire type deck, this is great. Flame, great flame spirit here. I love the artwork. Exaltair, this was on the, the pack art, so I'm absolutely excited, excited to have this as well. This is by this is by Fake Mon Trainer Adam. I love it. Oh, we've got this Soylent coming in. Giovanni Aguilar. And that is a, a great wind type. I, I probably would say Exaltier is going to be my favorite wind type Elestral, but yeah. Up next from Costa, we have this amazing looking Jolton card. And uh, again, the Thunder Monsters are always my favorite. This the hollow on these are just phenomenal. I love it very much. And we can't, I can't, I can't tell you how much Sonicor is my favorite Elestral. Like, I'm so happy I've got it back there. I traded for it. This is Luan M. Resend that did this artwork and uh, it's gonna go right next to the Sonicor up there. Hopefully one day I can get the full art and the, um, I would really love to get my hands on a stellar Sonic or at some point, but for now, uh, I'll, I'll settle for having these two. Speaking of thunder types, we've got a Zapter for our thunder type decks, which I will take. I definitely love Zapter. Uh, it was my favorite spirit to begin with. So very happy to have this artwork. And this is by Elite Four. I love it. It looks really good, uh, real crisp and clean. And that hollow pattern, of course, also looks fantastic. We've got this Galaxy, which at this time, pre-orders for base set Elestrals are still open. And if you spend more than $50, you will get a Galaxy Stellar promo, which is fantastic. Um, beautiful card, beautiful card. And the artist is Diego Monster. I love that artwork. Uh, definitely will be checking out more of their artwork as well. Victor Rosales has this really beautiful Cinder card. Uh, I'm getting some Sugimori vibes from this one as well but I really, really enjoy this artwork. I've not I've not paid much attention to Cinder as an Elestral. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but uh, it's a really pretty card overall. I really like it. An alternate artwork here for Demeter. I think that's a beautiful card. Uh, I, of course, I usually play Zeus in my deck, so that's, that's not, I've not used a lot of Demeter but uh, definitely a beautiful artwork overall. And the artist is Phoebe Summer Twisk. I love that, uh, fantastic artwork. Slowly coming back to the end here, we got Equal Inks, which I think is a cute, I love, I love kitty cats. So this is probably my favorite earth type illustral. Um, this artist is Amelry. Amelry's the artist, uh, the artist here. <laughs> I, I think that, that looks really good. Um, I actually have seen this one before and I was really excited to, to get this out of this pack. So, and I believe that's our last one. Our last one is Latagon, which is a fan favorite, of course, as well. And this is a Daniel Reyes promo and it's, it's just gorgeous. It's, it's on the pack art, which is fantastic. It makes me really, really happy overall. These Daniel Mosby's over here, but yeah, there we go. So, um, I'd like to hear what you thought of the artist collection pack. Leave it in the comments below. I'm hoping to have some Elestrals again here soon. Maybe some more content on how we play the game as well. But leave that in the comments below what your favorite artwork was out of this. And of course, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss when I post awesome content just like this. And uh, thank you so much for watching.
I hope you have a fantastic day. Be kind, be cool, be awesome. Catch you on the flip side.